All right. Um, hello. Uh, it's me, uh, Jurora. I'm playing a game uh, this time around. Uh, I had already played an hour and a half of this game. And I kept recording for that long. And I guess uh, my recording crashed or something. Um, so I have to I have to redo this whole thing. Um, and uh, I'm just going to do it in like 30 minute intervals. I wanted to upload something today that was like substantially longer than that. But um, since I'm like running out of time and I still want to upload it. Uh, I'll do this 30 minute version of it to keep it shorter and see if that's okay. Um, and then I'll make the other half of it much longer and I'll just record it in the 30 minute intervals, but I don't have enough time to do the 30 minute intervals thing and then edit it together and then put it into one big video for you guys. So we're just gonna do this for now. Okay. So we're going to skip through this a little bit faster. Um, I won't have the same reactions you probably would have gotten on like, like just right off the bat. So, uh, I'll let you know when I get back to the point where I was where I just didn't know what was going on. Okay, so anyways, first of all, content warning. Uh, there are some really weird visuals in this game. So uh, if you're photosensitive and, you know, like, you know, like half photosensitive ep epilepsy, like the, the game here warns you. So be careful of that. It could trigger seizures. Uh, so yeah, uh, I do not. So I will, I will be fine. I'm just going to set it back to the difficulty I was at. So we're going to do orangutan, which is the one I was doing. Okay, and I'll try to do some voices here. Before I was not doing that, so... Uh, let's see if this helps a little bit. Okay. Hmm. What was that noise? View controls? No. Okay. At least I don't have to read through all these manuals again. Um, okay. That stupid chainsaw guy is cutting down all our trees. I'll take care of it. I, that's like my gorilla voice. I am so sorry. Wait, is that a gorilla? The gorilla winds up his fist. Oh my god, is this your home? I'm chopping down? The gorilla nods. Yes. Man, I am so sorry. And then he anti-winds his fist. Um, that's a new word for sure. Sorry that I wasted my fuel on this glorified twig. Nope, offended him again. Okay. We did it. We won. We found some bananas. Better get a pay raise for this. Holy shit, he just... I, I love how... You know, it, it's very... Uh realistic for sure you know you're at work and you're like you know i better get her pay raise for this and then you fucking you know you die um so that's definitely a classic um okay we're gonna run i sure do love my wife and kids i really hope i don't have to fight a gorilla to death today you know what let's be a good person Despite what you would think of him, this man clearly goes against the preconceptions of everything you'd expect a chainsaw to be, and you decide to spare his life by only knocking him out. Hopefully, when he wakes up, he realizes the error of his ways and changes. He clearly values things past greed or hate, and he sees past the illusion of money. When he goes home to his three kids named Marissa, Gerald II, and Gerald II version 2, they will look at him and smile, for they know that he is truly a worthy father. Oh. Uh, may have hit him a little too hard. Uh. Okay. Well, I guess. I mean, we're, we're gonna commit a lot of murder, so I. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, Gerald, is that you? I thought I told you to stop taking the roids. Oh, God, Gerald, no. Please, no. And then just start the fight. Yeah, we did it. Okay, this is going to go a lot faster. So maybe I can get back to the point where I was at here. Hey, you kind of look like me. This is this is the actual Gerald. 
Can I? Nope. Oh shit. Yay, we won. I did explore a little bit here and then found out there's like not much else. But I was saying that like I'm working on my own game in this in the RPG Maker as well. And this game has like some really intricate, complex things into it that, um, you know, despite w the way it may look, it, it, it has some pretty interesting things in there. So I, I was pretty fascinated by it playing it the first time. Uh, I still am, though. This is definitely fun. Uh, I always like chimpanzees more. Yep, that's just for that. It's battle time. Wow, he fucking died. Okay. We're going to pick up some bananas. Specifically 25. I, I love how, I love how, we, you know, we have to be a little, a little specific about that. <gasps> oh shit, I deleted. I deleted my lot. Um, it doesn't matter. It, it Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, hey, you know the gladiator arena that might right outside the city that only battles monkeys? Uh, we found this orangutan protesting human rights, which is a big no-no. So we brought him here to torture and kill him. I don't think any part of that sentence was English and in the way that we know it. Dude, this is a multi-billion dollar company. The deal. Do better work. Why would they leave a deal this big to two workers in the middle of the forest? Listen, I don't care how incompetent you are. We got to show this guy how good mutation tech is. All right. I got this. Um, so, uh, so, uh, um, so, uh, kill the orangutan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Shut up, dude. Well, uh, I think I need to go through the process. This horrible, the horrible insults I've received today. I hope you all die horribly and I'm never coming back. Once again, I hope you all get grinded up in a wood chipper. Oh God. It's a gorilla. Oh wait, this guy's actually incredibly weak. Yep, yeah, he is. Oh shit. Okay. That that really Wait, no no no, no don't guard, don't guard. Let's use the Gorilla Slam. Okay, no more Gorilla Slam. You know, I actually lost to this guy the first time around. I, it was actually pretty bad. Uh, it is really a, a learning curve to this game. Um, ooh, ooh, uh, uh. The humans are gone. You can stop talking like that. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh. Yay. From what I have w just witnessed, the humans are beginning to clench their grasp even tighter around the earth on which we survive. We have to stop them before they destroy this planet and all who inhabit it. Will you aid me, orangutan? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh. Uh, yes. Okay, we did like some Naruto shit. Okay, on we go. Okay, I'm gonna pause my recording here just now to see if it crashes. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Welcome back. So, it actually uh, works well. So, let's, you know, let's go back to where we were here. Um, I could probably buy some stuff from this guy. You know, let's get a couple rebuy bananas. Maybe some antibiotics. Okay, just hand me your ID card and I'll let you pass. Alright, looks good. Wait a second. You're a gorilla! And an orangutan! <laughs> Battle time. Oh, yeah, this guy kind of sucks to fight. Uh, let's see how well I do this time. Yeah, do, do not, do not trust me. Path Blocker Deluxe, or what I call, I call him Stop Knight, is, is actually a massive threat. Uh, just, yeah, be careful of that. 
Holy fuck, I do no damage. Ouch. His guarding abilities are quite strong. How do you evade while you're stunned? Holy shit, ow. We're gonna just heal myself really quick. Or my orangutan buddy. Okay, I think he's dead. Nice. Your troop won the fight. Nice. I'll take these termites. Thank you. Thank you. I like this little rainforest area. It's very neat. Oh, hey, look! It's the little lamb! Or at least that's what I thought it was. Look at it. It's, a, it's just a little It's just a little lamb. It's just, it's just a little guy, you know? Hello. Could you move out of our way? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, it's actually a cute little horse. Um... Yeah, you know. Holy shit. I did some rainbow damage. Holy shit. What do you call this Pokemon? It's like, uh... Is this like a ghost type Ponyta? Oh shit, okay. Uh, that hurt a lot. Holy fuck, okay. We did it! If, if, if just barely. Okay, we found some eyeballs, apparently. I like it, I like it. Ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh. Hello, my good sir. Oh, it's Banana Guy. It's a hot spring rested for full health. For full heal. Okay, so I fought this thing like a bazillion times. I've lost every time. I can try again. Um, I did beat it eventually after some leveling. So let's see if I can beat it without the leveling. Um, it's a bit, you know, uh, impossible, kind of. Um, I could just do like a great ape swipe and that would do the job-ish. But, you know, you never know. So we're going to hypnotize it. Ouch. You missed. Okay, here we go. Nice. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, he, he... He does that. Okay. I, I'm i not gonna waste a bunch of turns trying to beat this thing again. Because, again, I want to move through this quickly so I can catch up where I was. And we can get my actual reactions to things. Reset the room. Oh no, we're good. Oh yeah, there's like a weird... 
puzzle here. Um, this guy. Uh. 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 uh okay. I guess. I guess he's dead. Oh, this is new. I okay. I actually did not know that. Okay, just because I've opened a bunch of these crevices now, I, I I know what these look like. But before, I didn't catch this. They kind of like hit into the foreground. What the fuck is that? Is this a pimp? Hello, apes. Please purchase a complimentary item from KYA Kill Yourself Co. Purchase a flesh feeder. What the fuck? Oh, it's, it drains some HP. What is this? A very nutritious coconut. Restores half of GP. That's actually pretty good. There's a hammer too? No way. Dude, what the fuck? This guy's just been here this whole time? Wow. Thanks, apes. Here, take this. KYI's co info sheet. Okay, I did not know about this. Okay, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do this one more time because it'll level me up really fast if I can beat this thing. Even though I said I wouldn't <sighs> provoke it, yeah, let's provoke it. Okay, so we're gonna hypnotize it, then we're gonna break its kneecaps. Perfect. Now, we're going to flesh feed it. Actually, maybe I should wait. I'm going to swing a little. It's quite a bit of damage here. I'm just going to wait. Ouch. Holy shit! Okay, I guess... Yeah, I'm just... Fuck it. I'm done. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> it's some... Yeah. Hey, I've got a really cool item that I will sell to you for all of your money. No! Do not buy anything from this guy. He'll take all your money. If you run into these spiders, you'll get sent back to the spot, so don't. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, sure. He takes all your money. You lost all your money. You got a banana. This was worth it. Yeah. You get a banana. You know what? I had so little money. I'll, I'll take it. I'll get the banana. It's only worth it if you purchased a bunch of shit and then, like, wasted all your money on the, on the guy before him. Okay. Uh, we'll run here, and then... Oh, I remember... So this guy's like, I want to fight you for some arbitrary reason. Oh, I remember. Uh, it's because an ape killed both of my parents. I really don't care. Slanted. Half of the time applies stun. Interesting. Swing around the local environment. Ouch. Yikes. We'll just break your kneecaps. Um, yikes.
That worked out. Yikes. Oh my god, finally. I was worried we would not. We were he was evading a lot of attacks. Yay, we found some shadows. We leveled up. Okay. You've got the world map. Yay. Key items. World map. Oh. So, I've been to the city and the zoo. So, I guess I'm still missing the lab, the prison, the flesh tunnels, the city too, and mega complex. And... Is that it? Yeah. Okay, there's still a lot to explore. Okay. I don't feel so bad anymore. Um... Hey, get out of my way. I'm trying to hug this tree. I'm going to rip your head off. Oh my god. I've never heard of a violent tree hugger. I... No, never mind, actually. Uh... Uh... It, it... It's ironic, okay? It's... That's what, that's what it is. This music's pretty hype, though. I do like it. Uh, ouch. Ouch. Well, he died. And we left behind 250 banana dollars. Yo, large bananas. Hello. Thank you. Okay. I didn't cause any of this. Hi. Hello, soldier. Do you want to pass? If so, hand over your ID card. What if I don't? Okay, he's just... <laughs> He's like, okay, you, you uh, g carry on, sir. Wait, this isn't you. Battle time. I, I, I love how he just kind of like lets me walk away. He's like, all right. I, I mean, good on him for not, you know, like being all suspicious of me. Profiling. Be like, oh, he didn't give me his key card, so he must be suspicious. That's gonna be useful. Ah, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god. We paralyzed and broke all his limbs. We paralyzed him and broke all his limbs. Okay, let's give each other some bananas here. You might counter in a bit, which I'm worried about. There it is. Ouch. Oh, nice. Oh my god, what the fuck? Nice, I like that. Revive a banner and a gun. Nice. Proceed. <laughs> Hello, apes. Actually, we know now. <clears throat> I perceive of your pilgrimage to snuff out the unpropitious corporations polluting the air with their corrupt miasma, and I aspire to collaborate with you. And with all, I obtain blood. So may I avail you? Uh, sure. Auspicious verdict. Hominidae. <laughs> Chimpanzee joined the party. Hey, by the way, I oracularly discerned about the factory in this city. I don't ken what's going on with it, but I cel celebrate. We should check it out. I love how, I love how, uh, Wither just kind of makes up, like, the person who made this game makes up words for half of this stuff. Oh, wait. Here's a really funny thing. Okay, so... 
Okay, th there's no guy. But there's this guy who says, the city has a real raccoon problem. I think there's one living in this dumpster. Take my trash. If you talk to this raccoon, it has literally everything you could want. I mean, like, literally. Should I sell some shit, actually? I think. Cause an enemy to go blind. For how much does it sell, though? Quite a bit of damage. Huh, it's whatever. Um, I'll buy. So yeah, there's this raccoon, right? But then if you go to the action... Oh yeah, there's this thing too. It's just... A monster. If you go to the actual shop, though... Oh god, it's a gorilla! Uh, this guy's like, here, I'll give you some stuff for money. It it's just like... Two items. So... And <laughs> the raccoon is... The actual shopkeeper in this case. Which is just... You know, it's funny. I, I wish there were more raccoons in the trash cans, but unfortunately not. Um... I thought I'd take you guys on a ride to see the city. Hey, you should join this or this great organization I made selling pyramids. It's called the Monolith Logging Market, or MLM for short. The commentary in this game is... It's fun. Oh shit, there's another one of these walls here. What is this? Some kind of special invention show? Okay, that's a funny looking rat. Go away. Thank you. I'm not giving alcohol to Gorilla. Go away. But, fair enough. He's letting people drink so much that uh, people just, you know, they uh, um, drink themselves to death? Question mark? Um, it's quiet. Too quiet. Okay, we're going to actually end. We're going to go to this place here, and then we'll end. Uh, uh, okay. I don't know why why does it look so creepy outside but then it's just it's called the viewer but it looks like a little insect we're gonna display our dominance honestly i'd be pretty horrified of a chimpanzee too i mean have you seen like what like chimpanzees can do to people <laughs> like i mean gorillas are scary but i mean you expect that, but, you know, you see a chip and you're like, oh, they're about my size. I'll be fine. They're, they're, we're, we're buddies. We're friends. It's okay. And, and then and then you see what they've, what what happens to people when uh, they, uh, when chimpanzees kind of, you know, lose their patience. Or, uh, for lack of a better word, you know, they, uh, I don't know, they just. They they're wild animals, so sometimes they just kind of go off on you, you know, for for any number of reasons. And and there's been cases of that happening in the past, and it's it's terrifying. Okay, we're gonna lacerate this dude. Just gonna fling poop here. It's muted. I feel like poop flinging poop at people would. Do more than just get them, you know, to be quiet. They'd probably be uh, confused. That That's one of the responses to poop, I think. That's a valid response. I, I, I still think some other things would happen to you if uh, somebody threw poop at you. Oh my god. To be fair, he did throw shit at... Did throw poop at him. There we go. We did it, guys. And we got the factory key. <laughs> you found an eyeball inside. Gross. So, before, I, I kind of took like five minutes trying to open every door in this city. It was kind of hard at first. Um, but there's a little factory here. And that was locked. But now we have the factory key. So, I don't have to worry about that anymore. We got a factory map. Anyways, we're going to save right here. Like I said, uh, the next play, uh, it'll be probably like a couple hours. Um, 
since I'll just cut it up into little pieces and then just put it all into one big video for you guys. But since I've run out of time, I can't do that this time around. I have to go to work in an hour. So um, I'm just going to put this quick video together, upload it, and then you guys can check it out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, please, please check check out Wither videos. He's got his own channel. He likes to review a lot of games, a lot of indie games, a lot of really weird games like this. He made it all, uh, I think, mostly by himself. This game used to have like some classical music with it that I found really interesting, but then they made their own original music. So it's kind of interesting watching the online, the, the few playthroughs he posted online, which are just full of classical music. But then now you have like... It's almost like to purchase the game. To get the original music that comes with the game, you have to purchase the game. Which I kind of... I find that interesting. I think it's kind of cool. Anyways, point is... Uh, you should check it out. It's two bucks. It's on Steam. Uh, it's it's a pretty fun game if you like things like... Uh, like Space Funeral. That, you know, those like really whimsical like RPG Maker games. Uh, this is definitely in that line of circle of games you know like anti-rpgs it's kind of reminds me a little bit of like corporation inc or whatever it's called um it's like some i swear to god it's like an rpg maker game about like uh like business and it's like a criticism on like corporations and capitalism and that sort of thing and this kind of reminds me a little bit of that um it's not as direct it, i mean it, it, i mean it is i mean it makes a lot of jokes about that stuff but but somebody might watch this and just think of it like as something else i, I feel like this game's a little more like Com a bit more comical in its commentary and someone you might not take the commentary as seriously as that other game um but i i think i think they both are trying to be somewhat commentative it's possible that they're not but i i i, I feel like wither probably would want to anyways check it out uh it's on steam for two bucks i it's worth a try um i will upload some more videos later all right see you guys